Hi everyone. Oh, oh. Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog. So I've been uh, organizing and cleaning the, the room, trying to make sure it's a little bit more uh, organized and trying to like get everything ready for hopefully my imports. Um, it's taken forever, but uh, you know, good things come whenever you wait. So uh, let me show you around what I have. So as you see here, it's a little bit more bared. I've been selling a lot, so I'm really thankful for you all. Um, got a little bit more stuff to go. My little area where I take pictures. My um, my own little bambino that I have. Um, some propagation soon to come. I'm trying to get more propagations going, and also so that way I can ship them to y'all. Look at that, so that we all know. I'm getting y'all some begonias soon. Um, and then here's one of them whenever they're ready. I have it, this one's like a three dollar uh, begonia propagation that I would sell. And this is the one that I've been uh, recovering. As you see it has a little baby right there and then another one here and then uh, right here doing pretty good. You are my pride hangers. They're so pretty. I love them. I'm growing out some Cebu Blue so that way um, I can get some cuttings going. Here are some cuttings that I have coming soon. Some Rick Rack cuttings for y'all. Um, just a little bit of fun stuff that I've been working on. My Monsteros. Oh my god. My Hoya Pubicalix. Look how much it's grown, everyone. And so much. Look how splashy. So all I do is just like water the, the cocoa car pole uh, from the top and I just let it all drain down. More micans soon to come. Here's like the begonia area. So, let's go show y'all outside. So here's some herbs that I have going. The catnip is not making it, it's a little too hot for it. Ah, I need to plant it soon. Here's my little area that I have outside. Look at the tomatillos. I'm regrowing my veggies, and so that way you know, like, um, whenever you have this kind of, I don't think you could see it here, but the leaf is pretty, like, uh, spotty with white. Um, you want to cut these off, and as you cut these off, you might see that better. These are pretty white and spotty. It's damaged uh, from the, the heat and uh, not receiving enough minerals and just being in the plant in the in the same container for too long. So uh, you just want to remove those off if you once you start seeing new green growth um, from your veggies. I need to pot these up, and I'll do that soon, so y'all see that. I haven't been on vlogging so much. I've been going through a lot of things and just kind of uh, trying to get the plant, the, a lot of the plants going. It's my sacrificial veggie for the, for whatever won't like hurt my other uh, veggies. My begonias. I'm gonna do something over there with that. Here's some spearmint coming. Part of the herb garden that I'm going to be planting. Yeah. Here's some of, uh, I think one of these is eggplant. I think it's this one. This one's eggplant. I'm not sure. One of those is eggplant. 
and then I have my little strawberries over here. Oh no, they died. Probably got too hot for them. Let's rip this off. That went off too. Off. That should be fine. Here's some strawberries that I'm growing. And then it's and then I propagated some strawberries, so that worked. Some caladiums. I like these. Fiddles. Look at this fiddle grow. And then that one too. Alright, little short update. A little short update. Uh, just gonna keep updating y'all what I'm doing and I'll check back on y'all. Bye! Alright, hi everyone. Welcome to my uh, little studio. Sorry, um, my vlogs have been short, but this is probably gonna be a really long one. So, just for a heads up, everybody. Um, as you see all like different things that I have going on at the moment. Um, I'm trying to get the shop ready for um, things that are go going to come in. So you might be seeing a lot of changes going on, on my Instagram. So I, uh, I'm i going to go live today um, to go explain to everybody. Um, so that way everybody can start placing orders on my website um, while changes are going through. And that way you all understand what's going on. Um, so I'm just basically like organizing the, the plant shop so that way all the new plants arrive and um, I could do priority shipping so that way I could do like priority shipping to you all um, from the plants I have locally um, and then also get them to y'all quicker so that way um, whenever I have plants available over right here I can always like send them to y'all um, super quick. But I also want to share with y'all um, a little bit of like just a just my studio. This is just like a little studio update, um, and then also a garden update. I have a lot to do out there, so we are going to be going um, also working on my bedroom plants. <laughs> I put my my big my big plants in there, but I forgot to get the watering tray for them, so they've been neglected and watering and haven't been able to move them <laughs> to get watered so now we're going to do it today um yeah i hope y'all liked uh i hope y'all like all the new um i hope y'all like all the new uh things that are going to be coming to my shop i'm really working really hard because i really like believing my my business and i just really i'm just really happy for what's going to come uh, i've been working really hard on this and it's just um you know, it, it, it's it's fun because it, it's it's it it's fun because it, it it went from like a um, a small idea to an actually a small business. So this is fun. I'm gonna show you also my begonia updates. So I've been uh, trying to propagate some begonias for the shop. Um, available. These are mine. These are mine. <laughs> um, I have this, this is my little taco night, and then I have my griffin over here. Um, I have some begonia Linda Dawn propagations coming soon. Um, all, I also have like string, string of hearts propagations and all these fun little things. This is my little carnivorous plant that I'm trying to grow out. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. But yes. And then I have like all these propagations that I have to um, pot up. Also, I have to do this. And this. Look at these little guys over here. Just look at that. Those here. Let me show you how <laughs> intense these roots are. Can y'all see that? Oh my god! Once I pop them into the soil, they're just gonna go off. And then all these will be uh, will become available. Um, Right now, begonias will probably be available locally. I'm trying to figure out how to ship them correctly. Um, so, in the meantime... 
Oh, here's a little surprise also. Some Ciba Blue. I'm currently working on growing out. Um, I'm going to get more. So y'all might, y'all are going to be seeing some fun propagations coming, th coming. Um, just like really like helping me purge uh, some of the stuff that I have already will help me. Oop. I'm going to show you all some of my plants. Here's the mother plant from where I take pro propagations from. Uh, this is one of my favorites, and so I wanted to share it with everybody. Um, and then this is the Begonia Linda Dawn, uh, where I take propagations from also. This is one of my favorites as well, so I wanted to share this with y'all. So it, it's um, if y'all have any recommendations on begonias that y'all like for my shop, I'll definitely look into them. I have been looking into options, so that's also something that I've been working on. Just look at that leaf. Isn't that pretty? I love this one too. But yeah. And there's big boy Henry. <laughs> These big old leaves. This Monstera. I'm going to be packing. Um, I need to go get some stakes for it so that way I can stake it and, and prop it up while in this uh, container. I want to make sure everybody's plants always arrive really uh, good in, in as best condition as they can. So I hope y'all enjoy that. Um, but yeah. Let's. So now I'm going to take you to the garden and we'll be work working on the garden um, and I'm just going to be filming what I'm doing um, and probably stopping uh, every now and then. Um, I might be fast forwarding something so just so y'all know um, and I hope y'all are okay with that. I gotta get you and you. Outside. Look at the little babies. Okay. Just one foot at a time. <laughs> So I am going to show you my bedroom plants that I just really love to have. My Aguilina Maria, which is great and low light, as you see here, just really cute and adorable, so tiny, but just grows great. And then, you wouldn't believe it or not, but like Hoya, my Hoya uh, Rotusa is actually doing really good, and I have it in um, my Macrame Hanger that uh, my friend Aaron made, as you see here, uh, my pride macrame hanger from her little shop in Burroughs in Texas. You can all check her out. I'll have links down below. But just look how adorable that is. My little like string plant. I love it. I love all my string plants. Um, but yeah, it just hangs right here by my window and it just is always just thriving and indirect sunlight and I just water it lightly like every other uh, week or so and I'll show you over here just how it looks but yeah super adorable super cute my little string plant um, you all should definitely get a way over two so if you ever find one put in your bedroom with like indirect light like this just great I put a little light over here just because, you know, uh, to add a little bit of light for anything in the corner. Money! Oh. 
So I don't know if y'all ever tried this, but um, there's little pecans that like were starting to root, and so I just kind of placed them in some soil, and they've been growing. Um, I think I put them in too direct sunlight though, so I'll, I'll definitely change that up. But they're growing. This is my little pothos bowl, pothos begonia bowl. It's doing pretty good. I just I, I was wondering if I could put in direct sunlight and if it will grow that way, and, and they will. But they just look a little bit lighter, as you see. Um, I need to maintenance that. Not everything's perfect. I have my little uh, tree that I got from my from Arbor Day, the Arbor Day Foundation. Here's the other one. Forgot which ones they were. But they seem to be doing well. There's Marley looking all fierce. <laughs> Attack dog. <laughs> oh, nope. Just a silly dog. <laughs> oh no. I gotta water these. Oh my god. I told y'all I'm bad at watering. If it's, if it's not the source plant, I'm so bad at it. <laughs> okay, these are my other... One of them is eggplants. This little fuzzy one does not look like eggplants. Um, my begonias, I needed to put them in the shade because they were getting too green. Um, so when that happens, I just put them in shade, as you see. Uh, my little veggies, recovering. Oh no, my spearmint. <laughs> I'll fix that. Here's some... Oh, okay. Oops. <laughs> Crunchy leaves! Oh no! <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh look! Here's my little fern that I have in here. I think that's adorable. Here's some more begonias. Oh no! Just kind of pinch off those leaves, it's okay. She has new growth, it'll be okay. Oh my god, I have not gone to this, I am so sorry, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oops. Okay. 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 You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be right here. That's fine. It's gonna be okay. It has a leaf. <laughs> Gotta put you in the shade. It has new growth. It'll be okay. Why are you floppy? <laughs> okay. I like this one. This is like my type of plant. Arrangement. <laughs> Easy and just trails. So, that's why I made it. Go walk, walk, walk. Stick here. Does that look good? Oh, that does look good. I'm gonna keep you like that. Okay. My little herbs. I need to get my herbs going. Been cooped up inside too long. Okay. Show you the big plants, y'all. So as y'all see, oh, okay, well, I was gonna show you something. Oh, okay. So right here, I had cut it and made the propagation. I'll put it. I'll include it in the video. Also, when I get back into the studio. But as you see here, it started coming in, uh, uh, forming another little, another. Uh, growth point that's so cool so it'll turn from that to this someday so here I'm just going to be cleaning the leaves and then also watering it up. I need to repot them but I need to get a, a better container for him and then I need to propagate that. 
this big guy. So we're going to be doing this also. Okay, so here you can see um, the little baby that I got out, the Alakasia Regal Shield, and I'm going to show you all that, all the little roots you want is to have like roots. Uh, the way I dug it out was basically like trying to maneuver the roots gently out of there, but also uh, not damage the, the plant itself because it, it it does have this new growth right here so we might lose it we might not we'll see um, but i'm about to plant it and it's going to make a new baby
Okay, so next I um, have to put my veggies in something. So I've found some containers for the meanwhile. I really wanted to regrow some basil. Um, I'll show you all later. I do some like um, apothecary stuff with them. Um, I have some catnip here for the cats. Um, I have some lemon verb lemon verbena over here by Blue Label Farms. Um, and then I have a little mixture over here of my favorite herbs and stuff that I love. I have sage, peppermint, and lemon eucalyptus in the back over here. So uh, I'm going to plant that all. I know this looks really dried out, but um, <laughs> he'll get back uh, to looking better and I'll chop them off a little bit. I feel so bad neglecting them, but like I have to do it now, so. Okay, here is a close-up of what I've finished. Here is the basil. This is a basil cardinal. Um, and then I have uh, catnip right here um, and spearmint. And then this is sage and lemon eucalyptus. These are all like my favorite herbs. and So I really wanted to keep them. Oh, and then I have uh, lemon uh, verbena back here I want to hang it and have it to drape um, so yeah I'm so excited to see these grow love this this is like what I've been wanting for a long time I feel bad that I left this go so bad but like once it stabilizes a little bit I'll trim it up and see how it is all right everyone also I'm gonna show y'all my compost bin. I was over here compost. I'm over here composting also. 
because I want to get these, uh, I wanted to use this for like roses and stuff like that. And so, this is what I use. All my like greens I use as like um, lettuce, uh, any like leftover um, greens that I am using, like salads and things like that, apples, bananas, uh, and then also I put like trees, like, uh, not trees, I put like um, sticks in here, there's like egg cartons that I, I've put in the bottom, there's also dirt, so I just basically come in here, I just tap it down every now and then, and then I um, flip the soil with it all um, around it, with like I mix it, so that way, like, not like this, but like, you know, um, a little bit better than that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what I use for my compost. I wanted to try to get my own fertilizer going, so uh, that should be fun. So, I really appreciate you all uh, subscribing to my channel. Um, you all are amazing. Thank you for supporting my uh, small little business. I'm so excited for you all to see my business grow. You all have a wonderful day. Bye.